think that's a bit more better lighting, wouldn't you say? I don't know what the hell I was doing in the cupboard. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're going to do a very requested video, and that is what I eat in the day. I've already done one before, so I'll link that in the info box. But I found some new stuff that I've really been enjoying and I like a low in calorie intake. So it's a little bit of background. I am on a weight loss journey. I currently weigh um, 64, 65 kilos. My um, highest was 72 ki um, kilos. So I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm putting a bit of weight, but I have been also working out my muscles. So I don't know if that's me building up muscle. I don't know, but I still have, you know, a belly. A bit of a belly that I want to like... <laughs> get rid of and honestly everyone has their own journey whether that's weight gain or just losing weight or you're just happy with the way you are like for me personally my goal weight will be like 57 kilos and um, that was like a few years back that's what i was originally but then i don't mind um building muscle and being a bit more than that like i, I can be like 62 kilos but more muscle than fat i'm just putting some tony moly banana lip balm because my lips are dry as hell if my voice is like croaky it's because i just woke up i really need to take my hay fever tablets but in the morning i like to have some coffee um all green tea but mostly coffee i've been loving to make my whipped coffee the dalgona one i have one literally every day but i'm gonna chill on it today um and i feel like i've shown you it twice already in my videos i'm just gonna make a simple one today um, I usually don't eat anything in the morning. I don't really, it's called intermittent fasting. You can search it up on Google. There's loads of benefits to it. Am I really into it? No, but most days I don't have breakfast. I just have a coffee. And to be honest with the coffee, it just doesn't make me hungry. Right now I am quite hungry, but that's because I haven't had coffee yet. And then I usually have my lunch around like 12, 30-ish. Take a spoon. I don't like to put too much because then my brain is too like hyped up. Then I like to put one spoon of sugar in quarter good stir there's nothing better than coffee in the morning like it just makes me so happy put a little bit of skimmed milk so that's like my ideal like shade of coffee taste test oh that's good oh it just makes me feel so happy i think i'm definitely addicted to coffee but I only have a cup a day. Like, I know people that take, like, five, six cups a day, which is insane. I would not even be able to sleep. One thing I also want to mention is water. Like, I drink one of these a day, if not two. This is um, 700 ml. I should be drinking more, but it's so hard for me at the moment. I haven't been really serious with it, but I definitely recommend drinking so much water before all of my, like, health journey. During like the uni days, I wouldn't even drink water for like months. It would always be juices and stuff, but now like I have to drink water. If I don't drink water, this I feel wrong. Like I just feel so dehydrated and like slumpy. So yeah, you need to drink water. I got this bottle from Amazon. I prefer a straw because then I don't have to lift my head up to like drink like this. And yeah, I've had this one for ages. <sighs> I really need to take my hay fever tablet. I'm not going to be all glam in this video because today's a work day and on my work days I just stay in PJs all day with no makeup. Because I'm on this health journey I do count, I track everything I eat as much as I can. But you can use my fitness pal which I'm going to actually transfer to. Now I use some calorie counter which I pay for. I'm going to cancel that one and download my fitness pal which you can like scan stuff and track your calories on how much you eat depending on the weight or the size of the package or whatever so i definitely recommend tracking everything you eat so you know what you're eating in a day how many calories you're taking if you are on a weight loss journey like me you want to make sure that you're um burning more calories than taking in so my calorie count each day is 1200 but that definitely is different for everyone i actually got the 1200 from the alexandra louise happy fitness plan which i pay for i can link it in the info box it's actually really good would i sign up to your other programs probably not because i feel like the videos on there is enough for me to just follow whenever i want to and then i just follow youtube workouts as well but the 1200 calorie was from that program and i'm actually happy with that calorie count and i'm seeing results i don't have to like completely restrain myself and just eat veg all day like i can eat what i want in moderation and making sure i am under my calorie count so if i want to have a biscuit right now i can but i will have to like make if i want to have like chocolate on saturday i have to like 
um, restrain myself a little bit more during the week so I can treat myself on that day. So it's about planning, tracking and just having stuff in moderation if you do want to treat yourself. I don't believe in like restraining yourself fully, just eating soup 24-7. You're going to lose weight but is that really sustainable in the long run? I'm no professional though so there's tons of like professional nutritionists on YouTube. I'm not one to give advice, I'm just sharing what I eat. If you want to like try them feel free to do so but yes i do try to stay under 1200 calories sometimes i go over just a little bit it's okay you only live once okay and workouts are mostly like four to five times a week i am gonna go now have my coffee and i'll see you during my lunch all right i'm now back for lunch it is almost 12 30 we're gonna do um my favorite lunch that i've been like loving i haven't had it in a while because i couldn't get out and get salmon but this has been my favorite lunch it's low in calorie and very filling um for me at least right i'm just gonna put some eggs to cook quickly one Two, maybe without getting any eggshells in. I do have something to keep it round. So you can shape it. I like to keep them roughly round. Put the low heat because I want the yellow. I do like to have the yellow cooked a little bit. Try your best to flip these over. Hey, doing this without breaking them. If it breaks, oh well. Yeah, I like to flip them over. I don't like it when it's too liquidy. I do really like these Kalo lightly salted organic uh, rice crackers. I go through these like nothing. So I take two of these. Then I like to go for some light Philadelphia cheese. This um, lunch comes roughly to 400 to 410 calories. I, don't, I honestly don't put too much of this. Try to keep it at like 30 that's way more than I actually need. Okay, let's say 26 grams. I honestly feel like the light light um, version is tastes exactly the same as the normal one, like the full fat one. So I barely even put that much, but we'll keep it up. I've got still this much left, which I'm going to put back in the pot. Then I really like to go in with this Tesco salmon. It's my fave. And again, I'm just going to weigh this. So I'm going with 46 grams of salmon. I would usually squeeze a little bit of lemon juice, but I don't have any lemons right now. But we're going to go in with our eggs. And you can now place these on your little rice cakes. I actually don't like to put salt, so I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper. To be honest, the salmon is actually quite salty itself but this is what it looks like it's really yummy really filling for myself i used to do this on bread but i find that because i'm on a low calorie diet um the rice crackers make a really really nice alternative for me at least and just to have on the side i really like to get some grapes these ones are kind of like they've been i've had them for a while so i'm trying to finish them honestly this is so bomb so i found this at um from nikki secret on instagram she shared this on her um, story and i never tried it so i gave it a go the other day and i was actually shocked i think that's an upgrade can give these a wash i'm just gonna cut these in two you need to do this step because then it's not the same and honestly this is such like a healthy side dessert i'm the type of person that really needs like a dessert with my food so instead of having like a cheesecake or chocolate just have this right i think that's all of them cut now i'm gonna get some lime juice and just squeeze this all over my grapes i'm just going to give my um salmon lunch a try just so you can see the lunch bit of ooziness coming out of there i know it's like the simplest thing but it's just amazing and it's healthy so I'm going to try my um, lime juice grapes. Oh my god. I'm going to go enjoy my lunch. Watch a bit of Netflix. I'm finishing off the Tiger King. Which was okay. I really feel for the animals. I feel like they're the ones that suffered the most throughout all of, all of this story. Everything's messed up. I do feel like she killed her husband. 
You can't just disappear out of nowhere when you're a millionaire. That is just the dodgiest thing ever. I'm gonna have a snack later on. Um, I don't know what to have yet, but we'll see. And then I'm so excited to show you guys my dinner later on. Um, been obsessed with it. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, it's now almost 4.15 p.m. and I'm gonna have a snack. So I really like these Nature Valley Nuts Butter Bars. Now these say they are 195 calories per bar, but I actually have half of it and keep the other half for the next day. I'm actually kind of still stuffed for my lunch as well. And I'm also gonna have a small glass of Tropicana orange juice. It's my fave. That's why these are a treat. So it's like two oat biscuits with peanut butter in the middle. Oh gosh, I left my light iron on this whole time. Rightio, it's now almost 10. Yeah, it's actually almost 10. I, to be honest, always eat late anyways. I don't know why, but I just, um, I'm not really hungry around 5 and 7 for lunch or dinner, so... Everyone's different. I wanted to share with you guys how I make my soup. This was actually my husband's idea, but we got this Tefal, Tefal, don't know how you guys say it, um, soup maker. We actually got this on Amazon for, I think, £80. I'll link it in the info box. But you can make smoothies, chunky soups, soups, compots, which I've already done. Honestly, this is amazing. And I feel like if you have a baby, you can bulk make your baby food from fresh veg and fruit. Um, it's the best thing ever, honestly. So I've already chopped up all my um, vegetables. I have uh, one whole butternut chopped really small. And then I've got, uh, I think, three sticks of celery, two small sweet potatoes, uh, one small onion, one large carrot. I don't even know. What, oh, yeah, and I've got three spring onions, I think. Quite a good mix, but this is going to make the best... Um, soup I promise you what I really like on this is that you can do an easy clean so you just fill it up with hot water and clean it and it does the job for you this is what it looks like inside you can fit a lot but sometimes you have to cut it small so you can get as much as you can in there so we're just gonna take this Okay, I'm left, I'm left with this much I can't put any more in there. I've gone over the max line and then gonna use some of this veg stock I'm gonna put the lid in. Okay, I might. I took some out. It won't let you. It will basically if you put too much, it just beeps like hell. So I know I put too much. That's what I struggle with this, but the end result is so good. I'm gonna do cream soup, and all you have to do is just do start, and it will just cook on its own. You can walk away from it, and it just blends and everything. And once you're back, it's all ready to eat. I'm now gonna put a little bit of chili powder in, and just a like a tablespoon of double cream. And you just want to close that and put it on blend. I'm actually just going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And just again give that blend. Then I got these really big um, Tupperware to put the soup in. So I can store it in the fridge and eat it whenever I want. It might be really boring for some, but this soup is so yum. Like, I've tasted already. It's so good. So on the side, I'm cooking a uh, fish. Um, we both have one, like, we both have half of the fish each um, with the soup. And it's a very filling um, dinner and still quite healthy as well. All right, guys, this is our dinner. Doesn't look that presentable or appealing, but I trust me, it's really yummy. And I like to have my fish with a little bit of chili sauce. I mean, if you know, then you know. Yeah, it's 21 calories per 100 mil, so it's barely anything. It's honestly the perfect addition to my fish. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go enjoy my dinner, maybe watch a bit of Netflix as always. Um, I'm so happy tomorrow's Friday. 
honestly can't wait for the weekend just to chill and just do stuff instead of being at the computer all day so i will write write some on the screen how much how many calories this whole meal is i just have to go calculate it all um i usually do it at the end of the day i roughly know in my mind that i'm around 1200 or maybe under hopefully i did manage to finish my whole bottle of water i'm gonna have some more as well so overall this is how many calories i've had today um i hope you found this helpful and if you guys want me to do more and share more of what i eat in the day let me know in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to do so and i will see you in my next video